welcome back to another video i hope you guys are all staying safe and i hope you're all doing well today i'm gonna be making some saltfish choker so welcome to my channel and stay tuned first we're gonna get our saltfish ready by soaking it you can either salt this overnight or you can just boil it a little to remove the salt either way just make sure that your saltfish is not salty when you're ready to roast it all right the only thing that I will be using in my saltfish choker is scallion, onion and peppers. I'm going to get them all chopped up and now my saltfish is ready. I'm just going to sop it with my paper towel to remove the liquid and then I'm going to roast it. The way my mother-in-law used to roast this is she used to wrap it in foil paper, roast it on the burner or they roast it on the outside in a cold pot. However, I'm going to show you two options um, that is less messy. I'm going to roast peas in the pot on the stove and I'm also going to roast peas in the air fryer just to give you options in case you want to make this. But I promise you guys this is a very delicious meal and you will love it and it's a different way if you want to try different ways of making your saltfish. So the person that asked the question in one of my video that um, when did doll become a Jamaican thing? I will tag you in this video because I will give you some history lesson at the end of this video. Alright, so now I am going to flip the saltfish because it's now roasted and we're going to remove all the bones. So after soaking the saltfish and roasting it, you will find that the scales are easy to come off as you can see in this clip. It just peels right off. You want to remove the scales and then you know you're not going to get rid of all the bones but you're going to try to get rid of all of the bone so just take your time allow your fingers to guide you and remove as much bone as possible as soon as the bones are removed you're going to chop up your saltfish as fine as you like it i like it really really fine so because i want this really really small i am going to put it in my processor but if you don't have a processor just go ahead and chop it up or use your fingers to break it apart in really small pieces so all the bones are removed and i chopped it up in the processor and now i am going to add my scallion and peppers at this point you can also add your onion but for me i cannot consume raw onion I can't so the next step for your saltfish choker is to heat your oil and pour it on the saltfish some persons would normally add garlic to flavor the oil but I won't be adding any garlic I am going to add my onions to the oil as soon as my oil is heated I will add the onions and as soon as my onion become a bit translucent then that's when I would be able to consume it so as we Jamaicans love to say fry up, I'm just going to fry up the onions a little. I don't want it to burn. I'm just going to fry it up as I said as it becomes translucent. Just as you see in this clip here, I am going to add it to my saltfish. So we're just going to pour it, everything on the saltfish and we're going to use a spoon to distribute it so that the saltfish is properly coated with this flavored oil. So I had mine with some roti and dal and though i may not be the best person at making roti it is delicious so to the young lady that was asking when did dal become a jamaican thing first of all i didn't say it was a jamaican thing i merely posted a few clips of meals that i made to give people option of what to cook sunday and the same set of east indian that were shipped to the caribbean even though Guyana and Trinidad got the majority of them, some of them came to Jamaica as well and they also brought their recipes with them. So if you come to Westmoreland, where I grew up from my teenage years to adulthood, you will find a lot of Indians. My mother-in-law is SU. You have the Golab, you also have the Chedi Singh and the list goes on. My siblings are Banhan and I grew up watching my mother making dal and roti for my stepfather. So... Yes, we do have descendants of Indians in Jamaica and they also pass down their recipe from generation to generation. As the Jamaican motto said, out of many, one people. Have a beautiful and blessed day and I'll see you guys in my next video.